Yeah, what, what's, what's the matter? Well, I just want to tell you one thing. It's just hell getting old. Oh, Dad. <laughs> you're not getting old. You're only going to be 65. But emotionally, you're just reaching puberty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, Dwight. Here I am facing surgery and... What surgery? I, uh... I was down the other day at uh, the hospital, uh, Our Lady of the Unusual, and... <laughs> I saw Dr. Fleddermeister. He's, uh, he's an authority on this, and he wants me operated on late this afternoon, around 4.30. What? There it is, 4.28. We should... Uh, what does he say you had? He told me what I have is hanger back. <laughs> what? what you... you take me over there, I... I'll just get my coat. I hope this doctor's a psychiatrist. Open your folders, gentlemen and lady. This is one gunnery sergeant, William Davis. <laughs> Grandfather, father, eccentric, maniac. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, and I know you will because I'm your father, is to execute a perfectly orchestrated top, 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 top secret surprise party for your grandpa's 65th birthday this Saturday night. All right, I want you to get out your schedules. At exactly 8 a.m., Gunny gets a call from his supervisor, an annoying phone call, insisting that he come to work that day. For the next 15 minutes, Gunny curses her out, and then at 8.15, he's out the door. That gives us nine hours, okay? You all have your assignments, your budget? Hey, Rob, you and I are gonna do decorations. Decorations? Why can't we be bartenders? Oh, come on. What's in a Mai Tai? Come on, Dad. Why don't you ask me what's in a real drink? Like a bourbon and water. <laughs> Gin and tonic. Yeah. What's in a boiler maker? <laughs> Boiling water and liquor. <laughs> I'm sorry, Cornell. You'll do the decorations. Come on, Rigo. Let's go figure out what we're going to do to decorate the living room. How about a couple of firecrackers and a tomato? <laughs> this is so great what you're doing for Gunny, but are you doing it because you love him or you want to get him? In this family, it's kind of the same thing. <laughs> Grandpa's back. Hide this stuff, quick. <laughs> Hello, Father. You're home early. Am I? <laughs> How's it going? Good. 
Rescue Angels is on. My favorite. You know, I've had a feeling for some time that there's been a meeting of some kind or another here. Rio, mm -hmm. maybe we should go in the living room and I'll show you where the bugs are coming in the screen. How quick he is. <laughs> well, I want to tell you something. You know, I've had to interrogate a lot of people in my time. We usually start with the children. According to what hand size you have, but the bigger the hand, the better. Grab them right by the little ears and just keep turning them. <laughs> I got up to 55 one day. I think we can do better than streamers and balloons. Let's hire a live band. What are we going to get for $20? I got an idea. Gunny was at Pearl Harbor, right? I don't know why. Because Frank Sinatra was at Pearl Harbor. If he knows Gunny, maybe he'll do it. <laughs> Frank Sinatra was at Pearl Harbor in a movie, Rigo. From here to eternity. Oh, yeah. Alice, what's going on? Hi, Rigo. Alice, what's shaking? Um, we need to talk for a second. Sure. Rigo. Okay, okay, I'll go upstairs and beat on your brothers. I need to talk to you, Robbie. It's not a big deal or anything. I'm really happy going steady with you. But? I don't think it would be right to go out with anyone else while we're going steady. And Jimmy Farrick just got his license and he asked me to go for a drive on Saturday. And I thought you and I could just be adults and break up for the weekend. <laughs> So you want to dump me? I knew I shouldn't have gone steady with you. I should have taken at least a day to think about it. But no! It's only for the weekend. If that's what you really want. I knew you'd understand. Listen, Dwight, I feel just terrible about this, but I can't make your little gathering Saturday night. What? I, I, I just can't. Some friends of mine from my Peace Corps days are having a little reunion in Seattle. I'm bringing the trowel. Carol, I'm not talking about a little gathering here. I'm talking about Gunny's 65th birthday party. Come on. I know. I'm sorry. He's right. In Japan, we have great respect for the elderly. Carol, come on, the Peace Corps, all those people do is think about themselves. I mean, what kind of excuse is that? It's... Well, it's not as good as my excuse. My daughter's coming to town for the weekend, and we're having dinner with her father on Saturday. Kind of a make-believe we're a family time. <laughs> I'm not sorry. All right. What? Elaine, you're coming, right? Oh, yes, of course. But I did get some other invitation. Somebody with a fake Japanese accent. Oh, yeah? I blew them off. Oh, well, whether you're coming or not, just remember, loose lips sink ships, okay? That goes for everybody, all right? Loose lips sink ships. What does that mean, loose lips? What? How can a lip sink a boat? It's an idiom. Don't call me an idiom. You are idiom. <laughs> How's this for a birthday car? Great. Hey, taste this. It's from Grandpa's party. Oh, hey, Grandpa, I was just fixing better than some to eat. Sure, sure. <laughs> well, fellas, how are you? I want to ask you something just off the cuff, so to speak. Uh, what about the party? What party? You know, uh, Republicans or Democrats? Oh. No, it doesn't have anything to do with Republicans and Democrats. I'm talking about the birthday party that your dad has put together for me. Okay? That's right. It's your birthday tomorrow. Yes, yes. How old do you think I'm going to be? 50? 80? <laughs> 
65. I want to tell you guys something about age. You're extremely young, both of you, and I'm extremely old, obviously, and I want to tell you something. Now, just look at this. Not too long ago, both of you guys started out like this. And of course, you fell down or tripped over the dog. <laughs> Funny, you get to be a little bit older than me when you mentioned 80. <laughs> Guy ends up like that. <laughs> And he trips over the dog. <laughs> Something to think about. It really feels lousy being dumped, Rigo. It's worse than the flu. Plus, you can't miss school. Hey, you want me to dump Debbie? Nah, I'll be okay. Just give me the word and I'll cut her loose today. I'll be all right. Hi, Grandpa. Hi. Hey, Gunny. Hey, I'd like to talk to you fellas about something. You know, I just came in from under the porch there. <laughs> and uh, I had to release the cat. He was caught between a couple of timbers or something. And once he got loose, I, well, I kind of listened in on what you guys were talking about. We weren't talking about anything, Grandpa. Uh, come on, I'm not going to tell your dad. You can level with me. Tell dad what? Well, uh, you know, about, about the party, about the birthday party that's for me, huh? You know what, Gunny? You're just trying to trick us. There's no way you could have heard what we were saying. What were you saying? <laughs> the party! Ow! <laughs> Thanks, clowns. Well, Dwight, uh... Oh, hi, Dad. The little people cracked. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, they blew it. They blew the mission. What'd they say? Well, they said that there was a big party going on. Birthday party for Grandpa. <laughs> of course, I twisted them just a little bit, ever so much. <laughs> they told me everything. The cat's out of the bag, Dwight. As a matter of fact, the cat is eating the bag. <laughs> Well, Dad, okay, fine. If you don't want to have a party, <laughs> you don't have to have a party, all right? <laughs> Robbie and Rigo must feel awful about spoiling the surprise. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you laughing? The party's canceled, your whole plan is shot. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, but you're forgetting, Cosmo, that I am the master. Self-proclaimed genius. No, you're a self-proclaimed child. No, oh, well, it takes the mind of a child to put one over on my father. See, I was counting on somebody telling. It's all part of the plan, you know? Now, Dad thinks he knows exactly what's going on. Uh-huh. He knows nothing. Did you hear that? What is that? What's going on? Where? Shh, shh, shh. Top secret. Top secret. Hi, sis. Hi. Hi. When did you get in? This morning. But Dad can't know I'm in town until tomorrow when I surprise him at work. Yeah, at exactly 3.17 p.m. Check. You told me you couldn't get in touch with Gwen. I lied. You lied to me? Oh, we lied to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I lied to people I don't even know. Uh, yeah. Mrs. Rush, Mrs. Rush, you know, she really thinks she's having dinner with her daughter and her ex-husband. <laughs> and what's the other one's name? Uh, Carol? Yeah, yeah. uh-huh, oh, that's it. <laughs> ah, I think she's going to be really heartbroken when she finds out that the Peace Corps' reunions went canceled. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are terrible. Yeah, Gwen, you know, all I ask you to do is just make sure that people were tied up for Saturday night so they couldn't make any other plans. Why did you have to go and mess with people's heads for? Oh, come on, Dwight, you know the answer to that. Because <laughs> it's a great time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but there was one setback. You know, Mrs. Yamagami? Yeah. Yeah, she didn't fall for the Tupperware thing. I called her and she just kept going, Tupperware, Tupperware, so I... 
<laughs> All this espionage. You don't have a phone in your shoe, do you? Not quite, 99. <laughs> oh, Max, if you accomplish this, the chief will be so happy, and that'll be the end of chaos, Max. <laughs> You see, Gunny, I've had to reprice all these fish because you let your little grandsons do it. And to tell you the truth, they did a very shoddy job. The price must go on the fin. Let me see it, please. Mm. It really doesn't make any difference. These are 29 cents a piece. It does to me. The kid's child labor, you know. Come on. Calm down. Two cents an hour. Decided over nothing. <laughs> Daddy! Yes? Dad, 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 hi! Gosh, hi, Gwen. When did you arrive? <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? What's going on? Oh, come on, Dad. Listen, I know. Dwight told me you found out about everything. This price is all called off because you ruined it, basically. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Guess we'll just hang out at home tonight. But you think we can get out of here early? Or... Well, let me let me see. Uh, incidentally, I'd, I'd like for you to meet this. <laughs> uh, this is Mrs. Catworthy. This Hi. is my daughter, Gwen. Oh, nice are to you? see you. Uh -huh. I'm 65 today, Mrs. Catworthy. It's my birthday, and I, I'd like to have a, a little time off a little earlier. Maybe I could break away from here and, and go home and celebrate. Would that be possible? Yeah, I wish I'm... you'd remember, please, that tourism is business. <laughs> I would love to let you go, Gunny, but I can't. I have to have you here till five o'clock, and as a matter of fact, I have plans this evening. I want to go home early. For the real person? No. <laughs> Happy birthday. Alice, what are you doing here? Can I talk to you? Again? Why? You want an extension? You want to break up for two weekends now? No. I want you back. I called Jimmy a little while ago and told him I didn't want to go. You know, Alice, you come over here, and you tell me you want to dump me, and then you change your mind. So you call some other guy, and you stand him up at the last minute. I don't think that's the way to treat people. Why not? Jimmy wasn't mad. Jimmy's a shop major. <laughs> so are you going to take me back or not? No, 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 no. Uh-uh. Hold on. <laughs> Don't do it, Robbie, OK? Don't do it. Uh, uh, who are you? I'm Robbie's pen pal from Oslo, Inga. Nice to meet you. <laughs> you know what, honey? I heard there's a big sale down at the mall. You might want to run down there, chew some gum, maybe buy another pair of size one pants. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Looks like I am, Alice. <sighs> now the guilt, Robbie. You know, I feel kind of bad treating a young lady like that, but you know, when they're that pretty, they kind of deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> shut up, Dwight. Shut up, Gwen. You shut up. Shut up. Just shut up. Shut up. Shut up to the third power. Shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> you know, uh, it's been a long time since I had a party like this, really, I mean. Uh, when I was a kid, I grew up in an orphanage, and there wasn't any birthday really for any of us. We cut out some stuff in magazines, and there weren't any candles, there wasn't any cake. Dad, could I ask you something? Where were Grandma and Grandpa when you were in the orphanage? <laughs> I don't remember where they were. They just, they dropped me off there one day when I was six. They were going about 90 miles an hour. Happy birthday, Dad. What a change of mood for me. <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Oh, my God. Oh. You guys have any idea what's in here? <laughs> and by the way, excuse me, is this the only gift? Okay, because if it is, I, I want to savor it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. 
Look at that, a Lionel engine. Isn't that neat, Ben? Charlie, yeah. huh? You can't play with it. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be mine. Are there the cars in there, too? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> well, thanks so much. You know what? I have a great idea. Why don't we go down to Harper's and get some of that great chocolate cake, huh, Dad? Maybe they could put a little candle in for you or something? I'd rather go to the diner. Oh, oh. Harper's has great chocolate cake. Yeah, yeah. I'd rather go to the diner. Come on, Dad. If Gwen has suggested that we go to the diner, you wouldn't want to go to Harper's. Now, come on. I'd like to go to the diner. Fine. All right. Okay, well, we'll go to the diner. Good. Great. All right. We'll take the big baby to the diner. A big baby wants to go to the diner. <laughs> I don't understand. Why can't you just trade seats with my sister? Yeah, you know, it's, it's my dad's birthday, so maybe... And you brought him here? Why don't you bring him to a nice place like Harper's? You got big boots there. Huh? Yeah, uh, Sherilyn, what we'd like is eight pieces of chocolate cake and a candle for the birthday boy here. Oh, gee, Dwight, I'm sorry. We're out of cake. Oh, perfect. Then why don't you just bring us uh, eight pieces of meatloaf and stick a candle in one, huh? We like the vanilla meatloaf here, right, Dad? <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh. Somebody put it out. Yeah. Somebody put it out. I got you, Dad. I finally got you. Come on, admit it. Admit it. I finally got you. Come on. Okay. Uh, you, you finally got me. No, come on. Say it like you mean it. I finally got you. Come on. I got I, you. I, I finally got you. No. <laughs> oh, you know what I mean? Come on, say it. Okay. You, you finally got me, but I let you do it. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, okay. 